anyway so let's start the session so in the previous class uh, we have started this chapter bank reconciliation statement and while discussing this chapter we already understood the meaning of the bank reconciliation statement and why it is prepared the purpose and the meaning of the this statement is already understood and apart from on the meaning and the purpose uh, we also covered the reasons that may lead to the differences arising in the bank uh, bank passbook and the cash book maintained by the business so we we have i guess we we covered two example we covered two reasons which may lead to the difference in the passbook and the cash book and and i hope those two differences those, those two reasons are clear to you so now in this in this session we'll take a few more example to understand uh why there may arise a difference between the cash book and the passbook and then we will probably we will we'll do one or two question at the end of the session how actually bank reconciliation is this prepared we'll try to understand that through that uh example or or question anyways let's let's let me give you another reason that may lead to the difference arising in the passbook and the cash book which is which could be let's suppose this is the example bank charges of rupees 1500 charged by the bank all right so <clears throat> first of all you need to understand what is actually a bank charge what do you mean by bank charges see bank charges is actually a kind of fee that bank Uh, collects from its customers bank imposes a certain amount of uh, you can say a, part, a certain amount of fee that bank will charge from its customer uh, again, uh, on account of maintaining their or their bank account so if if we talk about let's suppose if we are talking about the passbook or the bank statement let's suppose this is bank statement you can also call it passbook and we have another book called cash book so let's suppose this is a cash book The screen is not clear. I guess there seems to have some network problem from your side. I guess. Uh, tell me, uh, Labiba, you are having the same problem? Yes, it is blurred. It is blurred for you as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I guess there is some network problem from my side. Anyways, we will continue the session uh, for a few more minutes. If uh, the problem persists, then I'll I'll try to do something from my side. Right now, I think my bandwidth is pretty okay, so it may the quality may improve as we further uh, pro proceed in the session. If it does not improve, let me know. I'll try to do something from my side. Okay. I guess it is clear. All right. Shall we continue? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, so it says, <clears throat> see, uh, what I was saying that let's suppose this is a bank statement and there is a cash book. So when bank charges are collected or charged by the bank, bank charges is charged by the bank. Tell me whether this particular transaction. Have, uh, have been recorded in the bank statement or not since bank only deduct the bank charges so bank must have recorded or subtracted the amount and recorded the same in the passbook i guess so i'm, I'm what i mean to say here is that bank charges must have been recorded in the bank statement bank have made the deduction and reduce the balance right but just tell me whether the accountant have any idea about such reduction or not 
if bank charges bank imposes a bank charge and deduct the same from the uh, bank balance of the customer then whether just tell me whether this transaction have been recorded in the cash book or not answer is no no entry would have been made in the cash book so if bank in the bank statement bank charges have been deducted and there is no changes made in the cash book don't you think at the end of the month when we will uh, we when we actually uh, try to tally both the cash book and the pass book there may arise a difference yes or no there will be difference right bank a bank statement or pass book will be giving you a different balance and cash book will indicate a different ba balance all right so what i mean to say here is that bank charges are fees collected by the bank and if bank charges is uh, deducted by the bank it must have been recorded in the pass book but the same has not been recorded in the cash book so there will it will lead to it will lead to a difference and in order to resolve resolve that difference we need to prepare the bank reconciliation statement so see let's suppose at the beginning of the month we have a balance of 5 lakh in the cash book and we had pass book is also showing a showing a balance of 5 lakh but as soon as the bank charges have been deducted by the bank what will happen due to the bank charges bank will definitely uh, decrease the balance by 1500 since bank have deducted 1500 so bank is definitely going to record that in the pass book but the same will not be recorded in the cash book by the accountant of the business all right accountant did not recorded it in the cash book therefore there will be no change in cash book so at the end of the month when we will comparing when we actually compare cash book and pass book we will find that pass book is showing a balance of 49 49 on the other hand cash book is will still be showing same balance which is 5 lakh so it, it clearly means that there is a difference arising and because of this difference in order to rectify this difference we need to prepare the bank reconciliation statement all right is is this clear everybody please tell me if it is clear or not okay uh, so uh, do you want to write this down quickly do you want to write this down or shall we move to the next example so completed this sir which is in the last one that's why we did we did this in the last session we did only i, I guess we do, did only two two examples Okay. Anyway, so let's let's move to the next reason that may lead to the difference. Fourth reason could be check of rupees eighty thousand directly deposited by the customer in the bank. See, when a check of a particular amount directly deposited by the bank by the customer into the bank, what will happen? What will happen? Bank is definitely going to record. this particular event in the pass book right because check has been directly deposited into bank by the customer so this event is only in the knowledge of the bank so bank is definitely going to increase the overall balance by 80000 on the other hand accountant of the business have no idea about the check being deposited directly with the bank since he does not have any idea about this check so he must not recorded this in the cash book right so that means when a check is directly deposited into bank pass book will be showing a higher amount of rupees 80000 the of the balance of pass book will be in excess of 80000 on the other hand cash will cash book will be showing you a balance under under uh, uh, Eighty thousand. That means there will be a. You will find there is a deficiency of eighty thousand in the cash book since this particular check is not recorded in the cash book. You understand that? So let's suppose at the beginning of the month, if a cash book is showing you five lakh of balance, and on the other hand, pass book was also showing five lakh of balance. But since the check has been directly deposited by the customer into the bank, so this particular event must have been recorded by the bank only. So due to the deposit of check by the customer directly into bank, bank. Balance must have been increased by rupees eighty thousand, right? On the other hand, since the cashier or the accountant of the business having no idea about this check being deposited into bank, so there will be no entry 
uh, there, there won't be any uh, entry done by the accountant of the business. So therefore, the cash book will be will still be showing you the same amount of balance, which is five lakh. But bank statement or passbook will be showing you higher amount, right? Bank passbook will be showing you five lakh eighty thousand of balance. On the other hand, cash book will reflect a balance of rupees only five lakh. I hope this is point. This is clear, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this could also be one of the reason which uh, may lead to the difference arising in the passbook and the cash book. And owing to this, we will be required to prepare bank reconciliation statement. Okay. Taking one more example, let's suppose bank have provided interest of twelve. What? Uh, let's suppose bank have provided an interest of twelve thousand. Or this is not one lakh twenty thousand. Consider this value as one lakh. Oh, sorry. Consider this value as twelve thousand only. So bank have provided interest of twelve thousand. This means bank is giving us twelve thousand. Whatever the balance that a business is maintaining with the bank, upon that bank balance, bank is providing interest of rupees twelve thousand. So since bank have provided interest of twelve thousand, this particular event. Must have been recorded in the passbook by the bank, but about the interest being provided on the balance maintained with the bank, cashier have no idea about the interest being allowed on that balance. So that means cashier or the accountant of the business did not recorded this earlier, right? Because bank have provided interest, so bank must have already recorded this that in the passbook. Accountant having no idea, accountant did not recorded this in the in the cash book. So because the pass book, the, this particular event has been recorded in the pass book, so it will show you a a balance higher than the cash book, right? So ultimately, what will happen? Let's assume that at the beginning of the month, if pass book and cash book both are showing you the same amount of balance, five lakh, five lakh each. But since this particular transaction is not recorded in the cash book because cashier or the accountant of the business having no idea, have no idea about this. So accountant have no knowledge of this interest. Thus, cash book will remain unaffected. When bank provide interest, banker will be will increase the bank balance. Owing to this, at the end of the month, the bank bal uh, balance as per cash book will still be reflected at five lakh. On the other hand. Balance as per passbook will be five lakh twelve thousand. That means bank have increased the overall balance by twelve thousand because of the interest they have provided on the amount maintained by the business in the bank. All right. Hopefully this is also clear, everyone. Yes, sir. Tell me if it is clear or not. Anybody want me to explain it again? Is it clear, everyone? Can you explain it? Again? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, somebody want me to explain it again. So, okay, guys, see, pay attention, try to understand. Just a moment. So let's suppose this is cash book and this is a pass book. At the beginning of the month, let's suppose on first of April 2022, bank statement, or you can also call it passbook. Passbook of the business was showing you balance of rupees five lakh. And on the same day, that means on first of April 2022, cash book which is maintained by the business. Is also reflecting the same balance. You need to understand. Cash book is maintained by the business. Pass pass book is maintained by the bank. Now what happens? Bank provides you interest. So as soon as the bank, the as soon as bank have provided interest of rupees twelve thousand, tell me what bank must have done. Bank must have increased the overall balance by twelve thousand. Is that right? Bank must have added twelve thousand in the overall balance. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes. As soon as the twelve thousand of interest is 
provided by the bank, this particular transaction must have been recorded in the passbook correctly or not? Answer is yes. They must have recorded that in the passbook. On the other hand, accountant of the business who is maintaining the cash book, he have no idea about the about that interest which is being provided on the deposit. So having no idea about this particular interest, accountant did not recorded this in the cash book, right? Now at the end of the month, when you will calculate the balance of the passbook as on 31st of April, 31st of April 2022, when you will calculate the balance, passbook will be reflecting a balance of 5,12,000 because the interest is also added in the initial opening balance, opening value. On the other hand, cash book, since the interest is not being recorded in the cash book because accountant have no idea about that. So cash book will still be reflecting the same balance. That means as on 31st of April 2022, cash book will be reflecting a balance of 5 lakh only. So do you think, don't you think there is, there is a difference? Cash book is showing you only 5 lakh and passbook is reflecting a 5 lakh 12,000 of balance. So is there any difference? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Answer is yes. And because there is a difference to resolve this problem, to rectify this error, to rectify this problem, what do we require to do? We will be required to prepare bank reconciliation statement. Bank reconcil Through bank reconciliation statement, we will try to resolve the issue and we will try to make both the balances equal. Some way we will try to do we will we'll try to do something which makes the balance of the passbook and cash book equal. I'll I'll tell you about that later, what we'll do, how how we do that. But for the time being, I'm just trying to explain what may cause a difference between the passbook and the cash book. I hope this point is clear, everyone. Yes, sir. Tell me if it is clear, yes or no. Okay. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next reason. Reason six. There may be a difference in the passbook and the cash book because of this reason as well. It says check deposited but not yet cleared. What do you mean? Check deposited but not yet cleared mean that one of the check which is collected by the business have been record have been deposited with the bank. Got it. But the same check is not yet cleared with the bank. Bank did not clear this check basically means bank did not credited the amount into your bank account. Clearance of this check is still pending. All right. So now tell me as soon as the check has been deposited with the bank, don't you think business must have recorded this event in the cash book, yes or no? This event must have been recorded in the cash book, yes or, yes or no? Assuming that, that we will get the clearance in the bank as well. So we must have already recorded this in the cash book, assuming that it will eventually get cleared by the bank. So we already increased overall balance by 70,000. We have added 70,000 in our cash book. But when it is, uh, uh, but but it is not yet cleared by the bank. That means the same amount is not yet deposited or credited into our bank account by the bank. That means at the end of the month, when we actually calculate the balance, we will find that the cash book is showing you higher balance. On the other hand, bank will be reflecting a lower value. Let me explain this. Let's suppose on the 1st of April, both passbook and cash book is showing you same balance 5 lakh on both the sides. In, in case of cash, we have a balance of 5 lakh and in, in case of passbook, we had a balance of 5 lakh as well. But one of the check which is received by the business, when it is deposited into bank, it is not yet cleared by the bank. So what does this mean? It means that as soon as the, as soon as this check has been received by the business this must have been recorded in the cash book and overall balance must have been increased 
by seventy thousand. Yes or no? On the other hand, this check deposited, but the amount is not yet credited into the bank. So if it is not yet cleared or not yet credited, check is not yet credited or cleared. That means no amount is still added in the in the bank in in the bank. So as per the passbook, when you will find out the balance at the end of the month, you will be getting the same value five lakh. There will be no addition in the balance of the passbook. But as per cash book, when you will calculate the balance at the end of the at the end of the month. we will notice that the bal overall balance of the cash book have increased by 5 lakh or have increased by 70000 so the over ba overall balance as per cash book is now standing at 5 lakh 70000 however on the other hand cash book is still showing you a balance of 5 lakhs so you are able to notice the difference yes or no there is a difference of 70000 why it is arising because a particular amount of check is recorded in the cash book however on the other hand it is not recorded in the passbook and this is leading to the this is causing a difference between the passbook balance and the cash book balance all right is that is that clear everybody is that clear everyone yes sir yes sir okay so this was reason 6 that could be uh, that could possibly one of the factor that is causing a difference in the cash book and the passbook just a moment just give me a moment All right, everyone. Just, just a minute. yeah so uh, this was the sixth reason that may that may cause a difference arising a uh, different difference arising in the passbook and the cash book now let's take few more examples let's talk about the uh, reason six that may also lead to difference like uh, in case of bank provide interest i think we already covered this now yeah let's just skip this one All right. This one uh, is it says insurance premium paid by bank as per the standing instruction three thousand thirty thousand. Now tell me, if insurance premium is paid by as per the standing instruction thirty thousand, then what must have been done? Basically, when insurance premium is paid by the bank. Because this event, the, 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 sorry, the payment payment has been paid by the bank, so this event must have been recorded in the passbook. Since the insurance premium is all uh, paid by the bank, so this in in a uh, particular transaction must have been recorded in the passbook. Yes or no? This particular event must have been recorded in the passbook. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. But on the other hand. accountant of the business have no idea about the insurance premium being paid by the bank so if in the accountant of the business have no idea about this so 
that means he did not recorded this earlier in the in the cash book right and when at the end of the month when we will actually compare the balances of the passbook and cash book we will we'll notice that there are there is a difference of rupees 30000 bank will be showing you a different balance probably a balance which is, which will be less than less by 30000 comparing with the cash balance so let's assume that at the beginning of the month if the cash bank cash cash book and the passbook both are showing you equal amount of balances that was 5 lakh on account of insurance premium being paid because this transaction have uh, taken place on from the side of the bank so this particular event must have been recorded in the in the passbook right so banker must have reduced the reduced the bank balance by 30000 as soon as premium has been paid on the other hand accountant have no i no knowledge regarding this thus cash book will remain unaffected so eventually when we will compare the balance cash book will still be showing you 5 lakh but on the other hand passbook will only be reflecting a balance of 4 lakh 70000 all right so this may also lead to a difference all right so uh, since we have we we understood uh, the causes of difference in the passbook and, and cash book. I think that is enough for now. Let's do a question. Let's actually, uh, let's, let's try to understand how do we actually uh, try, how do we actually resolve the or rectify the differences arising in the cash book and the passbook, passbook. So for that purpose, I'll take an example. So let's start with this particular question. Question says, prepare bank reconciliation statement from the following. Few, four four uh, transactions are there in the question and considering all of these we need to prepare the bank reconciliation statement so i want all of you to first of all take the screenshot of this question please take the screenshot of this question and then i'll i'll basically i'll show you how do we actually prepare the bank reconciliation statement yes, mm -hmm. done Everyone done? Yeah. Okay, just a moment. So in order to prepare the bank reconciliation statement, what do we actually do? See, this is how we prepare the bank reconciliation statement. First of all, we need to prepare the format of the bank reconciliation statement. So First of all, we'll put the heading as bank reconciliation statement. And the first column will made for the serial number. Serial number is for the serial number of transaction that have taken place. Then a column for particulars. And then value which requires to be added, we make a column for indicating a plus item it's the, the basically it shows values which needed to be added to basically rectify the difference and then we need to make one more column which will be called a column of minus item All right, so this is the format of the <clears throat> cash book and the passbook. Okay, now see the first thing that is given in the question 
what is the question the, the first thing in the question says we uh, have a debit balance as per cash book the so debit balance in as per cash book basic basically means we have a positive balance as per cash book it is you understand that we in as per when whenever it says we have a debit balance as per cash book it basically means that we have a positive balance in the cash book of uh, of rupees 15000 so the first thing that we will do we'll put the put it as put this as uh, we'll we'll write it as serial number 1 debit balance as per as per cash book this is given at rupees 15000 now always remember that whenever whenever you are provided with a debit balance of cash book you will have to determine the balance as per pass book if you are provided with a balance as per cash book you need to find out the balance as per balance as per pass book so in this question we are provided with balance of balance as per cash book and after completing all the uh, uh, transaction, after recording all the transaction, we need to find out the balance as per pass book. Balance as per pass book. All right. And you need to ensure that balance as per cash book and balance as per passbook should always tally. Basically, both should indicate same values at the end of the, uh, I mean, the plus, the positive side and the negative side of this bank reconciliation statement should actually tally. Just a minute. All right. Now con let's consider all the other transaction which is given in the question. Okay. Now see, it says it says check deposited but not yet cleared one thousand. Now tell me, check deposited but not yet cleared. Tell me this particular transaction, whether it is recorded, whether whether we have recorded this in the cash book or not. Earlier, whether we had recorded this in the in the cash book or uh, or not. Tell me, if the check has been deposited but not cleared, this means that. The in, in the cash book, this the this amount must have been recorded. But since it is not yet deposited, since it is not yet cleared, that means that bank uh, uh, the basically it is not recorded in the in the passbook. Right? Is that understood? If check has been deposited but not cleared, what does this mean? This means that because the check have been deposited, we must have recorded that in the cash book. But the same is not yet cleared. That means banker did not record this in the passbook. You understand that? And since the banker did not record this, banker did not record this, then we should actually, we should also not record this in the, in the cash book. Now, the thing is that we already recorded this in the cash book now to rectify the issue what what will be required we need to subtract this now to rectify the problem what we will be required to do we will now subtract this to rectify the error arising between the passbook and the cash book tell me tell me everybody is it is this clear to everyone or not 
Anybody want me to explain it again? Yes, we can explain again. Okay. See. See what I'm trying to say. Balance, as per. Cash book is given, right? Balance as per cash book is given, and we need to find balance as per pass book. We need to find this. So, in order to find the balance as per pass book, we need to do whatever. The accountant must have done. You need to understand this. In order to find out the balance as per passbook, we will do what whatever the banker would have done. Got it? Now see. Coming back to the question, it says that check deposited but not cleared. Now tell me whether this particular event have been recorded in the cash book? Yes or no? This because the check has been deposited in the bank, so this particular event or transaction must have been recorded in the cash book. Yes or no? Just tell me. Yes or no? Since the check is deposited into bank, so considering that check will be cleared in future by the bank, we must have recorded this in the in the cash book. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, we had recorded this, but now just tell me whether this check is cleared by the bank, yes or no? Whether bank cleared this check, yes or no? No, bank did not clear this check. So that basic this basically means that banker did not recorded this in the pass book, right? And since the banker did not recorded this, so this. What I said, what I just said, that whatever the banker have done, we need to do the same thing. If banker did not recorded that, we are also not required to record this. Now the problem is that we already added this. We already added check of rupees one thousand in the cash book. Now to rectify the problem, what are we required to do? Whether We should add one thousand in the cash book, or whether I should subtract one thousand out of the cash book. Yeah, sir. Add. Subtract. We have to add. Yeah, we will be subtracting that. See, let me repeat it again. I just said whatever the cash, whatever the uh, banker have done, we need to do the same thing. Because we are finding what we are finding the balance as per pass book. If we are finding the balance as per pass book, we need to do whatever the banker have have done. So banker did not recorded this. So we will also not record this. But the problem is that we already recorded this, na. So in order to resolve this issue, what are we required to do? We will simply subtract this amount. We will subtract one thousand. So for that purpose, what I am going to do? I will coming back to the bank reconciliation statement. I'll write down the serial number, indicating the serial number of the transaction, and I'll write down check deposited not cleared. Check deposited but not cleared. Since the check is deposited but not cleared, and banker did not recorded this in the pass book, therefore we need to subtract this. Therefore, we won't be recording this, and because I'm subtracting it, I'll be writing that in the minus column. I hope this point is clear, everybody. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, moving on to the second, oh, uh, sorry, third event, third transaction. It says that check issued but not presented. Check issued but not presented. Value is fifteen hundred. Now let's see. Check issued but not presented basically means that check issued. Sir, what do you mean by check issued? Check issued basically means that we have made a payment of rupees five fifteen hundred to some 
let's suppose supplier through check and this check is not presented to the bank for the payment all right let's suppose the, this is one of our supplier we have made we have we paid the supplier 1500 rupees by drawing a check and as soon as this check has been issued to the supplier this particular transaction must have been recorded in the cash book yes or no this particular transaction must have been recorded in the cash book yes or no answer is yes but the supplier did not approach bank for the payment so this means that the check is not yet presented for the payment with the bank that also means that bank did not recorded this in the in the passbook yes or no bank did not recorded this tell me everything is understood until this point yes everyone please please confirm if this is clear yes or no yes sir okay now see as i told you we need to do whatever the bank have, banker have done let me tell you one more time since the check has been issued so what we have already done we already have subtracted 1500 in our cash book yes this is already done in the cash book but the banker having no idea about the check being issued because the check is not yet presented for the payment into the into the bank account bank so therefore this particular event is not yet recorded there so if banker did not recorded this event in the pass book are we required to record this in the cash book if we are trying to find out the balance as per pass book answer is no if we are trying to find out the balance as per pass book we need to do whatever the banker have done so if banker did not recorded this that means if banker did not subtracted this amount we also we are also not required to subtract 1500 out of the cash cash book but the problem is that we already did that we already subtracted 1500 now tell me in order to correct this problem correct this issue how can i resolve this how can i rectify this problem tell me what are what i should actually do now amount of rupees 1500 which is not which is not required to be deducted i have deducted it now to rectify the problem what am what am i required to do now what should i do tell me anyone shall i add this back shall i add this back shall i add 1500 to the cash book it will it will it resolve the problem yes or no tell me everyone what happened guys also tell me if you are having any problem understanding this anybody want me to explain it again just let me know if you want me to just say it sir <laughs> It's clear. Is it is it clear? Yes or no? It's complicated. Yeah, it is complicated. Therefore, I'm asking you again and again. Now, just just uh, confirm. Let me know whether it is you are able to understand this or not. So can you explain this? Labib. Yeah, sure. See what I'm saying. That one of the check. is issued by the business to some party to make the payment as soon as this check has been issued this event is recorded in the cash book yes and cash the balance of cash book is reduced by 1500 because we have issued the check of rupees 1500 so we already deducted 1500 out of the cash book but this check is not presented into the bank and because this check is not yet presented into the bank so banker did not recorded this in the pass book right and as i told you we are trying to find out balance as per pass book this means that we need to do whatever the banker have done whatever banker did we need to do same we will be doing the same thing if banker did not recorded this we should also not record this 
we should also not subtract this right now the problem is we already subtracted even though we shouldn't subtract this amount but the problem is we already subtracted it now tell me how can i rectify this problem if i deducted 1500 how can i make it correct what should i do whether if if i will add 1500 does it make it correct in that case whether if 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 uh, uh, the if we need to do whatever the banker have done if banker did not subtracted this then i think i should also not subtract this right but if i have subtracted it now to resolve this problem i can simply add it back so do you think so yes yeah we should add this adding the amount will lead to will, will obviously rectify this problem so let me write this down check issued but not deposited because banker did not recorded this we shouldn't also record this but because we we have already recorded and subtracted the cash balance so now to rectify the problem we should now add this value 1500 we will add it am i clear everyone is this point clear everybody yes sir okay now moving on to the last item it says bank interest basically it is a bank have provided interest right if bank have provided interest of rupees 1 200 let me know just tell me if bank have provided the interest tell me whether bank have recorded this in the passbook yes or no this bank yes. is itself providing the interest so bank must have recorded this but yes. cashier or the accountant of the business had no idea about the interest so that means in the cash book this particular interest is not yet recorded right what bank have done bank must have increased the overall balance by 200 yes or no but because bank accountant of the business have no idea he did not make any changes in the cash book is that is that understood is that understood everybody yes sir okay now as i told you we are finding the balance as per pass book so we will be doing everything that whatever whatever the banker have done so if banker have added 200 in the pass book as an interest then tell me what should i do as i said we need to do whatever the banker have done if banker have added 200 what should i do sir even we have to add 200 yes we need to add 200 as well because as i said we are finding the balance as per pass book so what whenever we will we try to find out the balances for pass book we we do everything that uh, that banker have done so bank interest will be added because because the banker must have added this so bank provided interest If bank provide interest, this should be added two hundred. Done. Now we have recorded all the transactions. Now we just need to do the total. We'll we'll be totaling it fifteen thousand plus fifteen hundred plus two hundred. It will give us a total value of sixteen thousand seven hundred. Sixteen thousand seven hundred, right? And now I will be subtracting one thousand out of it. Subtracting one thousand out of sixteen thousand seven hundred will be will will we will be left with a balance of fifteen thousand seven hundred. So after subtracting the minus side out of the plus side, whatever the balance that we will receive. That will be considered as the balance of the passbook. So the balance as per passbook will be 
15,700. You understand that we will add these value 15 plus 15,000 plus 1500 plus 200. And after adding this, we will get 16,700. Out of this, we will be subtracting 1000. And after subtracting whatever the value that will be left, which this that will be called balance as per passbook. And now at the end, we will also tally the minus, we will also total the minus side. So after totaling the minus side, you will notice that we are getting the same value 16,700. Got it, everyone? Is that clear, every, everybody? Sure. Uh -huh. Everybody, is that yeah. okay? So everybody understood this. So guys, I want you to write this down quickly. Please note, note this down. And if anyone have any, any problem understanding anything, do let me know. You need to just keep that in mind that whenever we start with a balance as per cash book, this means that we eventually need to find out the balance as per pass book. All right. And whenever you need to find out the balance as per pass book, you need to do whatever the banker must have done. Because only then you will be able to find out the balance as a passbook. Now see, because banker have dealt differently and accountant of the business have dealt differently. Therefore, passbook will be showing a balance of 15,700 and cash book will be showing you a balance of 15,000. We can see there is a clear difference between the cash book balance and the passbook balance because of the treatment of the different transaction differently. Because some transactions are recorded there in the cash book. Some are recorded there in the there only in the passbook because of which there is a difference. All right, I, I hope this point is clear to everyone. Quickly note this down, everybody. Just let me know whenever you are done. Done, everyone. Still doing. Manisha Labiba Ritika. Sir, we are doing. Okay, note this down quickly. And let me tell you one uh, thing in, uh, regarding this chapter. So, this chapter is one of the difficult chapter of your syllabus. Not, uh, I, I'm not trying to say that it is actually a difficult chapter. This is difficult because students find it difficult to understand or, or basically uh, relate that how, when, when we need to find out the balance as per passbook, what we need to do and when we, need, when we will be asked to find out the balance as per cash book, what we are required to do. So because the students find it difficult to relate and, and uh, apply logic, so it becomes really difficult for students to understand this chapter. So I because we are still at the initial uh, uh, of this chapter, we are still at the beginning of the chapter. So therefore, I just, just wanted to recommend you that make sure you keep on revising this chapter and make sure you do these questions again and again or whatever the examples and, and the reason I explained previously in this slide, you need to cover those examples and understand the reasons which may lead to the difference, difference in the passbook and the cash book. And whatever the question that I that we do in the class, you need to solve those questions again at home as a homework. All right. So only then you will be able to uh, uh, make a grip upon this chapter. Otherwise, you will find this chapter a uh, uh, little problematic for you. It is going to create a problem for you, right? So make sure you revise. You give enough time to this chapter. You give you dedicate uh, enough. Uh, time upon this chapter only then you will have some confidence regarding the chapter otherwise it is going to create a problem for you so i've already i, I just uh, uh told you at the beginning of this chapter 
So make sure you keep this in mind and considering these things in mind, you uh, uh, basically learn this chapter. Done, everybody. Ratika, Labiba, Manisha, still doing it? Done, sir. Done, sir. Done. Okay, guys. So I'm not giving you any homework for the next class. Since there will be, uh, I, I think I need to do a few more questions with you. Only then you will be able to solve a few questions on your own. But we just did one question, so I don't think it is the right time to give you any homework. We'll be, sitting, we'll, we'll be covering these questions in the next class. Like this is question number two. It is a little lengthy, a little comparatively difficult uh, than the previous question. And then we will discuss you few other questions as well in the next class. And after covering these questions, I think you will be in a position to do few questions on your own. Until then, you just revise the previous concept that we covered. You just revise the question that we discussed in today's session. That is 